All right, so I bought a trailer, and I know it's got some uh, wiring issues on it. Um, so we're gonna make some test boxes so I can test the trailer separately from the truck to make sure that I know what's going on here and uh, be able to test the truck separate from a trailer as well, just to kind of help isolate some issues. Um, I'm about six hours from home, so I just don't have this stuff with me and uh, you know, picked up that guy that I need to bring back with me as well. And uh, we'll also talk about some of the wire colors and what they do and just some of the basics here. Okay, so first, this is what it looks like if you're looking inside your truck seven pin plug. So you've got running lights, this is the 12 volt power feed that uh, charges your trailer brake battery typically. On a camper it might be tied into your uh, um, camper batteries as well so you can charge them down the road. Right stop turn, uh, left stop turn. So on your truck itself it will be able to send the signals to the trailer and when you hit the brakes to turn both on or the turn signals left or right. Um, yeah, ground, electric trailer brake, and then the center pin is your reverse lights, which a lot of trailers don't have. Um, I have seen these just wired in as some sort of different auxiliary for some other option on trailers before, but uh, from the factory truck harness, it's going to be reverse lights. So on the seven wire, the white one is your ground. The black one is that 12 volt power feed. The yellow is reverse. The red is your left uh, turn or brake signal there. The green is gonna be your running lights. The brown, oops, is your right turn or brake. And the blue is your uh, electric trailer brake signal. Now on a four wire, the white is your ground. The brown is your running. The yellow is your left uh, turn or brake. And the green is your right. So you can have variations of these. Um, I'll talk about it a bit and in fact the stuff I'm using here today um, I'm gonna have you know four wire wires going into the seven that's just how this style of little harness thing comes so you gotta kind of mix match a little bit and oftentimes you'll get a seven wire plug and you want to just put your four wire into it so this is what you've got on your trailer and what you can't do, I tried to make the colors visible here. Um, so it'll say on here, you know, white, blue, brown, black, green, red, center being yellow, of course, or sometimes it can be uh, purple. I've seen that before. Um, so if you're taking your four wires going into the seven, you take your yellow wire which is the left, and you would put it onto the red terminal. And then you would take your green wire, which is the right, and you put it on the brown terminal on this. And then your brown wire, which is the running on this, goes into your green terminal on the plug. And white is still ground um, on both of these.
So with that knowledge, I just went on uh, Amazon there. Again, I'm just out of town at my buddy's place and ordered up some uh, 12 volt LED indicator lights. And this is uh, like a seven wire trailer aux plug thing. So we're just gonna wire some lights into the cover plate on this guy so that we can plug this into the truck and we'll be able to test the, all the lights in the truck separately from a trailer. Um, I find that these things, they just, they stay in better um, condition. So you're not second guessing yourself if this is gonna work. And then we're gonna, um, you know, take a box, we'll put this on with some other lights and a couple switches here and be able to plug that with a power source into the trailer to be able to test all the lights on it individually and the brakes and all that good stuff. Okay, so I went and put uh, ring terminals on everything and then uh, I plugged them into my little battery here just to make sure that the wires actually work before we get too carried away. And now it's just a matter of, uh, I've picked these lights for what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go 12 volt, left, right, running, brake, and reverse. Um, so I'll just put them on the corresponding lugs here. Let's put all the grounds together. So we'll get this all dialed up. And then we can move on to the next box. Okay, so now that we've got this one done, this is why I like to build uh, these style little boxes instead of just little plugs that only go into the bumper. As you can see, I've got it set up where I can see it um, when I'm just in the truck here. So my one light uh, for my 12 volt aux power, the first white one is on. I just turn my key on. We've got a left signal, we've got a right signal, we've got brakes, which is both. I can turn my running lights on, they're working. If I hit my brake controller, you can see the blue light comes on with the brakes. And if I go into reverse, I get my last white light. So I can very easily, from the drivers, seat, you know, the lots of walking around, tell what's going on with the truck. All right, so this is gonna be the trailer test box. And on this one, I've got four wire colors and they've added in um, some extra bits for the seven wire. So you can see there's two yellows uh, and some trailers from the manufacturer end up coming wired kind of like this too. So this is gonna be the, um, you know, green is right, yellow is left, brown is running, white is ground on all of them. 
The black one is going to be the battery. Blue one is brake. Yellow, reverse. Um, second yellow, I guess. So we're just going to cut this end off. We're going to wire it up to some switches and some other lights that we've got. And put it in the box. Um, and it's got a four-way adapter too, so we could test a trailer that is seven or four. And on this box, I'm only going to be hooking up um, the left and right brake or turn signal light there, running lights, and the brake or electric brakes to switches. I don't really care about reverse. I mean, I don't own any trailers that have that. Um, that is not super common. And the 12 volt supply wire, um, in theory, you could run this little box off the brake battery that's on the trailer if you loop this one in. But in my experience, that battery is normally dead and that's why you're, or one of the reasons that you're kind of troubleshooting stuff to begin with. Um, so we're not gonna use the black. We're not going to use this yellow. We're only going to use these uh, five wires. <laughs>
Okay, we've got our box put together here. I, uh, I carry around a little 12 volt Milwaukee uh, battery charger. So in the past I've done, you know, mini jumper cables or something, because you've usually got a 12 volt battery around somewhere. Um, which one's which here? Negative, positive. Hook that up. So that would be our running, our right, our left, and our brake. Let's grab the other tester we made. Okay. Plugged in properly there. There we go. Okay, left, right, running, brakes. Like I said, you could add reverse, and I mean, yeah. So this adapter I got, it also has the four wire wired in there, so if you're working on a little trailer, you don't have to come up with some sort of adapter just for this. Um, but yeah, fairly simple, there we go. Truck tester, trailer tester. All right, so I bought my, I brought my buddy's, or my trailer up to my buddy's shop, I guess. And, uh, you know, I know I've got a few broken wires in here with my uh, um, brake release. And the guy I bought it from said that when the battery under there gets uh, disconnected, the brakes come on full. So we're going to open this up and just see what we got. All right, so I like to start um, just by opening up the seven pin connector here and just seeing what I'm dealing with with you know colors and and whatnot there. So they're pretty easy. We should be able to just push that through now. There we go. So we got seven pin colors. Black, green, red, white, blue, brown. Eh, even yellow's connected. I don't see too much corrosion and they're all just, the colors are going to the pin that they're uh, labeled. So that gives us something to go by down below okay so I got the box open here and I can see we've got seven wire um, coming from the connector colors going to four wire colors and I do have my brake blue brake wire connected it looks like um, I know my breakaway wire was broken up there and it looks like it's connected to the battery which is kind of right but my battery charge wire isn't being utilized at all um, so we're gonna just clean some of this up all right I think we got it figured out here so we've got black wire coming in we've got it going to two red wires one of them goes to the battery um, and then the battery goes into the grounding loop as well the other red wire is going up to the breakaway and then the wire coming back from the breakaway should be tied in with my brake wiring here um, to energize those in the case of you know if the pin gets pulled. So we'll just go fix those two wires on the breakaway, hook our box up and test some stuff out here. So I just thought I'd pull the battery out just to maybe put it on a charge, have a look at it. And you can see we've got some other broken wires that we're going to have to deal with up in here as well, which is a pretty easy fix. All right, so I got my little battery hooked up out of my compressor. Which these things are super handy. Um, up to the box. So if we just turn on running lights you know 
Well, what do we got? Well, I got all the ones at the back, it looks like. One on the side. And I got one up there. Oh, and the other one. Only one light out. Well, that's not so bad. And then you can check your, you know, left and right. But right now, let's go for the brakes. So this is just going to be full energized. I've got the one side jacked up. So these tires are off the ground. Yeah, engaged. Engaged. All right, just cause, let's go left. Looks good. And right. Looks good. So if I drop the jack on this side. Bring her over here. And I got tires off the ground. And they're spinning. Brake on. Nothing, but I got brakes. So I got some sort of wiring issue on this axle. So we'll crawl under there and see what's going on. All right, so I've just cut the wires that go into this side of the brake. Um, and I got them hooked up to my meter. So we'll just go hit the brake switch. And I am getting some voltage here. So I think I'm gonna have to pop that hub off and see what's going on inside. All right, so we got hub off here. I'm gonna try and just stick this in if I can to my battery and see if we got, I can't quite get it. that and the magnet is working but we're missing the clip that holds it in place um, that goes on to this here so maybe that was part of a problem maybe it was just corrosion in here and uh, yeah probably pack the bearings again and go for that I can't say I've ever seen one of these before the seal has its own runner built in that is a tight fit on the axle there. So didn't want to come off very well. Okay, so we've got our um, wires, the heat shrink kind of connectors there, keep some of the moisture out. I'll go flip the switch on the tester box. Blue light is on. 
And let's see if the magnet holds here. Yep, so this brake should be good to go now. We'll just put the grease back on, get that seal in, and uh, put it back together. So it turns out this seal was more like a oil seal on the back axle of a truck there. And the spring was sitting in the back of the bearing. So I went and picked up some new trailer seals and uh, we'll grease her up and put her back together. And if you own a trailer, I mean, in my opinion, I think it's worth just picking up one of these grease packers. You're doing this every year or two um, for all of them and you can hand pack them all. This just makes it way faster. All right, I got it greased up, put back on. So I'll go hit the brake switch on the test box again here. On, let's see if it stops now. And there we go. Brakes are working. Let's see, put the tire back on. Fix that light over there and this trailer's done. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you found this one helpful. And if you could do that, you know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And we'll catch you next time.